Hello, and welcome to Eastern Roman History. The theme, or thema, became the chief administrative and military jurisdictions in the empire, after the late imperial system. First created by Constans II in 659 to 661, the armies that survived the Arab and Slavic conquests of the 7th century were based in these themes. The original five themes were Armeniacon, which was where the army of Armenia was stationed, Anatolicon, which is where the army of the east was stationed, Phraxicion, which is where the army of Thrace was positioned, the naval Carabicianoi, which is believed, according to Warren Treadgold's speculation, to have been where the army of Illyricum, and more certainly, the remains of the imperial navy were stationed, and Opsicion, where the two Praesentale armies were posted. From Constantine IV to Leo III, emperors had innovated in these themes by adding other areas of the empire to the theme system, such as Sicily, and dividing existing themes such as the theme of Thrace. Constantine V introduced the Tagmata, or regiments, in AD 743 to 5. To distinguish between the fully developed themes of the 9th and 11th centuries and the developing themes of the 7th and 8th century, I have been referring to them as the Strategia. John Howden and Leslie Brubaker argue that the use of the term theme before the 9th century is an anachronism, perhaps born out of the same anachronistic use of the term by Theophanes. The term of strategis, referring simply to the provinces under the command of a strategos, or in the Opsicians' case, a count, appears in the time of the early 8th century, during the time of Leo III and Constantine V, by which time the previous late imperial system had fully been superseded by Constans's strategia system. Howden and Brubaker believe it is important to draw a distinction between the later themes and the earlier strategia. The period from Constantine V to Nikiforus I saw the themes that authors such as Theophanes and Constantine VIII recognised come into its maturity. So when did the strategia become the themata? The foundations for the development of the strategia into themata began with the creation of the tagmata by Constantine V, because, as Howden and Brubaker say in Byzantium and the Iconoclast era, page 743, he created a tool for the successful prosecution of the imperial policies which was free of provincial bias. He had reduced the power of a major source of potential opposition to imperial authority. And, in doing so, he also created the conditions for the evolution of the theme system proper. The Tagmata was such a major innovation that others concerning the administrative and military makeup of the Eastern Roman Empire were likely to follow, and they did. Theophanes the Confessor gives us a terminus ante quoem for the creation of what he recognised as a theme. After Theophanes, no other author uses the term therma until the 920s, when the theme system was most definitely established and fully developed. Theophanes used this term to refer to the armies and provinces from Heraclius onwards, which gives us a terminus post quoem for the Thermata, the claim of George Ostrogorsky that Heraclius created the entire theme system overnight in the 620s has been debunked, and thus we can move the terminus post quoem for the theme system from Heraclius to Constans II. Other sources, such as Nikiphorus the Patriarch, refer to these same armies and provinces as strategia, or strategis arche, and no lead seals from the period of the 7th to 8th centuries mentions themes. Nikiphorus, who is the main Byzantine historian before Theophanes, wrote in the 780s, whereas the latter wrote in the 810s. As such, the theme system was developed in the 30 years between the two. This is backed up by the major financial and administrative changes that took place during this time 
including the introduction of the proto-notarioi, which were in charge of provincial fiscal administration and recruitment, who appear in both written and silography, the study of seals at this time. The most likely time for the development of the strategia into the theme system is during the reign of Nikiforus I, who instituted major financial, administrative and military reforms, especially his ten vexations in 809 to 810, where he settled thousands of people from Anatolia into the Balkans. Haldon, Brubaker and Dolger make the argument that the term therma itself was derived from the Greek verb tethemi, meaning to place, to deposit, to set down, or to assign, because the armies of the late Roman army were placed, or assigned to, the area of Anatolicon, Armeniacon, and so on. But there are other possibilities. Howard Johnston suggests that the term therma may be derived from the Altaic word for a group of 10,000 men, and was introduced in the reign of Heraclius by his Khazar allies whom the Romans were allied with for much of the 7th and 8th centuries. If the first idea is taken, rejecting Howard Johnston's idea as being too reliant on Theophanes, and combining it with the other evidence, it may indicate that rather referring to the circumstances of Constans II's repositioning of troops in Anatolia, it may in fact refer to the resettlement of troops from Anatolia to the Balkans by Nikiforos I in 809-810 as part of his vexations. In any case, Nikiforos I started to refer to provinces in a new administrative provincial designation as part of his administrative reforms. So what made a theme different from a strategist? A theme was a specific territory within which an army was based and recruited. It was different from the strategia because after the vexations of Nikiforos I, recruitment was on the basis of communal obligations to support poorer soldiers and pay for their equipment, and contributions towards the payment of their public taxes according to the degree to which their property could or could not support their service. A theme was fiscally distinct and managed by a protonotarios, who coordinated the administration of the province and its military requirements. The strategia were of a far more military nature, which worked with the remains of the late imperial administration. A theme had its own officials, connected with maintaining the military registers and the tax assessments of the soldiers' families entered into the registers. A theme had its own judiciary, headed by a praetor, and later known as a crites. A theme was governed by a strategos, who had military and civil command of his province. Haldon and Brubaker argue that it was not until the late 830s that the strategos was not responsible for both military and civic affairs. A cancellarios managed the ecclesiastical affairs of the province for the strategos. Other officers that begin to be linked to a specific therma that appear from the early 9th century onwards includes the catuliarios, stratutis, apoptis, as well as the camariarios, which was already instituted by Constance II. This reflects important military and financial administrative changes in the provinces and in the central government. The introduction of better provincial administration also improved the administration in Constantinople, because they had a better idea of what was going on in the provinces, which naturally led to reduced corruption and boosted efficiency. The theme made provincial recruitment more reliable, and provided soldiers better equipment and supplies. This was further developed by Leo VI, who encouraged the strategoi to require those with wealth, but not on the soldiers' register, to provide horses, supplies and equipment to soldiers. In 839, Theophilus introduced the military subdivision called the Bandum. This was a subdivision of the 1,000 men in a drunga 
and referred to a district of 200 soldiers within a theme. All themes and Klaisure were divided into 479 Banda with their own headquarters and territory, making it easier to muster thematic troops and it became the standard administrative division of the empire. Banda were easier to manage and more evenly distributed than the Drunga. Alongside Nikiforos I's vexations, and possibly due to the fruits of these reforms, he created a new unit of Tagmata in 809 to 810, called the Hikanati, consisting of 4,000 cavalrymen with accompanying squires. If you wish to learn about the creation of the Strategia, the creation of the Tagmata, or the vexations of Nikiforos I, then rest assured, for I have made a video describing all three and you can find the link to them in the description below. I have been your host Daniel Maynard, please do like, subscribe and share this video, and this has been Eastern Roman History.